Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. Till now we have learned some of the basic fundamentals in uh, Qt programming. Now let's uh, add those fundamentals and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a simple login application using uh, Qt. Now normally whenever you want to create a login application you need to have some database connected or you need to uh, connect to a server which can access a database but for now because we are in the initial stage of learning I'm not going to show you how to connect to a database but I'm going to show you how you can create a simple login uh, application and we will uh, try to implement uh, the concepts which we have learned till now and we will build upon uh, this login application in some of the later videos so that uh, we can uh, learn new things also and we will uh, you know create a simple project also so that uh, you know it's not boring learning the new concepts so let's get started what I have done is I have created a simple uh, login app which is a blank app and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the main window.ui file and for now uh, I'm not going to uh, add any layout to my main window what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, search for a group box so just search for a group box a group box I'm going to uh, explain you uh, in the later videos this group box is really uh, beneficial whenever you are using radio buttons or check boxes but uh, this group box uh, is a logical uh, you know group kind of thing so you inside this you can uh, make a logical group of widget for example right so you can see group box has this uh, title you can change this title to for example sign in and inside the group box what we want is a simple form kind of design right so what we are going to do is we are going to take some labels for username and password so just take two labels here and then two line edits right so just take two labels and two line edits here now in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the text of these uh, labels as for example username and password right so user name and the second uh, label is password here right and uh, if you have learned in the last video you can uh, make this label and this uh, line edit as buddies so that they will be a single entity right and you can also select them and uh, you know provide a horizontal layout to them and for uh, these also we will provide the horizontal layout and we will move our uh, group box a little in the middle and then I will select these two uh, layouts and, uh, and select layout vertically right now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a push button here so that whenever somebody gives his username and password and presses the push button we want to verify the username and password and then we want to uh, you know take action on the basis of uh, if the username and password is correct or not so I'm going to change the text of this uh, push button as login okay now in here you can see on the right hand side your uh, class overview so you have um, the labels and line edits so you can change the name of these uh, line edits and label from here so for example this line edit which is this one this line edit is for for example user name and the second line edit is for the password so I'm just going to change the text as password okay something like this okay and this button is for uh, the login so I'm going to change the object name of this button also as uh, push button login for example okay and now whenever somebody pushes this button we want to uh, you know check the username and password so you just need to uh, right click on this button and choose go to slot from here 
and then click on this clicked method and click OK which is going to create a push button clicked uh, method for us and in here what we are going to do first is we are going to just say Q string and first of all we will define this uh, variable which is a local variable as user name and we will uh, just use UI here and we will try to get the text from the line added which the user is entering so UI and then the widget name which is added text uh, for us right so just write UI line edit username first of all and then get the text from it using this text method this method is going to give the text uh, entered by the user and assign it to this uh, username variable right same way we are going to do uh, with uh, passwords just use uh, password and instead of uh, line edit username we are going to add here line edit password okay now in order to verify this password we just need to, uh, if condition so if uh, username is equal to so let's uh, equate or let's try to uh, you know verify the username which is already fixed so for example username which we want is test and password also which we want is uh, also test so we will uh, just use if the username is equal to test and uh, password is also equal to test then we will say the username and password is correct right so let's say if the username and password is uh, test and test then we will display some message in order to display some message let's include q message uh, box so just include uh, this header for the q message box so just write q message box and then we can uh, use this q message box to show some message here right so q message box and if the username and password is correct we want to show some information first uh, argument is the parent second argument is the um, the title so now login is our title for the message box and the third is the message we want to show so we will just say user name and password is correct okay otherwise we will just display the message that username and password is not correct so just write else and uh, this time we will use the queue message box but we will use the warning queue message box so just write queue message box warning and then once again this and uh, the title is login and the text is for example username and password is not correct so I'm just going to copy this one and this time I'm going to say is not correct right so this is a very simple code to verify if the username and password is correct or not if the username and, uh, is correct then we will see this message and if the username and password is wrong then we will see this message okay so let's uh, run our app save the code and first of all build it and once this uh, code builds we are going to uh, see what happens so let's uh, add it first of all some random username and password and let's verify it and it says username and password is not correct with this warning icon and now let's add the correct username and password which we want to verify for example test and test click uh, login and it says information icon username and password is correct right so this is how you can verify username and password now on uh, uh, the successful verification if you want to open the next uh, or second window how we can do it so first of all we will create a second uh, dialog in our project so just right click on your uh, project and then go to add new and choose qt from here and we are going to choose qt designer form class from here and then click choose and we will choose this option which says uh, dialog without buttons and click next 
and we will uh, leave the name as default or let's say it's a second box so I will just write SEC dialog okay click next and we want to add it to our login project which is yes finish and it has created a second dialog for us right so you can just uh, display some label here and you can just display some message for example hello for from second uh, uh, dialog for example right so just write hello from second uh, dialog something like this okay now I'm going to go to my edit mode here and in the source code you can see this second dialog class is created for me so I'm going to go to my main window.cpp class here and what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to declare in the header of main window.h this uh, include so just include uh, this second uh, dialog class here or header here so just write sec dialog.h which is this one and then we are going to create an object of it so just write uh, sec dialog and then create a point of or of it sec dialog okay and let's make this as smaller here okay so this is the object which we have created and on the successful login we want to open this second dialog so go to your main uh, window dot cpp uh, file and you can see we were displaying this message when uh, the username and password is correct in here first of all uh, we will uh, take the second uh, dialog object which we have created so just write second dialog is equal to new second dialog so just write new second dialog and the constructor takes uh, the parent so parent is this class itself right and then we can just call the second dialog object and then call a method show on it right to show the second window and if you want to hide the first window and then open the second window you can call a method hide first here and then you know write the code to open the second window right so let's run our code and let's verify if everything works or not and our app is running now so first of all the wrong password and it says username and password is not correct and second window doesn't open right but when we give the test and test correct password and uh, username and click uh, login it says username and password is correct and when we click this ok button this is going to disappear and it will open the second window so let's see what happens you can see it's opening the second dialog and the first uh, window is uh, you know disappeared or hided right now if you don't want to hide uh, your main window you can just comment this code which says hide and then run it once again and it will show you both of your window login window and the second dialog window also so once again give the username and password which is test and test click ok and now you can see both of your windows main window also and uh, your uh, second window also okay so this is the simple login application you can uh, create using Qt Creator. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe and bye for now.